actually. And the app that we're going to look at today is from the, our smart home area, and it will be the Nest app. Uh, I have a Nest in two separate locations. Uh, I have a total of three Nest products. Uh, I have two in one location, as you can see here, uh, which is called Home. And then I have a second uh, location that's about uh, 800 miles away. And as you can see here, uh, because we're not there, I have this set on Eco. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the app. And that's what I'd like to focus on today. Uh, so first of all, uh, the current uh, location, you can see we have uh, one on the main floor, which is called living room and one upstairs. So let's go to the uh, living room first. And you can see here in the living room, uh, we have it set on 78. And you could also see that uh, the current temperature, and there's two numbers, one is 77 on the thermostat, and one is 76 uh, here in what's called the family room. What's nice about that is we have a, a small sensor that you could purchase for an inexpensive price from uh, Nest. And you could put that in a location, uh, in this case, a location we use much, much more than where the thermostat is. And so we have it actually running off of that particular location during the day. So what happens is I have it uh, running during the day in from the family room, the sensor, and then at night I have, uh, I have it using the living room thermostat. So uh, I think that's a nice thing to have. It's been great. Uh, also gives you, tells you what the humidity is in the house, uh, which in this case, as you can see, is uh, 51%. Uh, there's several other settings. So let me look and show you down on the bottom. We have mode and right now it's summer. So I have it set on cool. And uh, we have, there's an eco uh, setting uh, we, and I'll show you that in a moment on another location uh, fan so you could just run the fan uh, sometimes I run it uh, to to kind of just move the air or whatever especially uh, in the other location and if you want it to schedule uh, you can actually put on uh, your own schedule you could so you could power your schedule uh, if you would like and uh, we don't really use it all that. Schedule. And now we go to history. And this is kind of also uh, very helpful. It shows you by day uh, how much you used it. 30 minutes is all on uh, that day, an hour, two, etc. And that day uh, was quite a bit. So you're able to go back to that particular day. And you could zero in on that and see exactly what happened, when it came on, when it went off. So there's a lot of information, just a lot of information uh, available on this app. It's, uh, I think it's very well done. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. If you remember, there's a second location. The second location is upstairs uh, in the same home. And you could see here again uh, that it's, uh, it's set to 78, the current temperature temperature is 76. You can see why it might be 70, 60 outside. It's only 71. Humidity, 54%. And again, all the same items are down uh, below. On the upper right, you can see here that we have all the settings. So we have, for instance, I have it set on auto uh, schedule learning. And it does. It, it learns over time uh, how you want it to uh, uh, how you want it to work, how long you want things to uh, be before they cool off or heat up, etc. Home Away Assist is an interesting one. We have it on, so we have it uh, set to our phone. So when we leave, of course, we're no longer connected to this. Uh, our mobile device is not connected to the home network. Nest knows we're not home, and, it's, and it sets it on either... Uh, uh, high temperature or low, depending on what time of year it is. And then when you come home, it turns on again. Uh, so the only thing I would say with that is uh, on a very hot or very cold day, uh, when you're on your way home, you may want to uh, get onto the app and, and kind of uh, uh, make sure that you have it uh, uh, ready so that when you come in the house, uh, time to temp early on, uh, 
uh, I, I have that set to off. We have a heat pump, uh, so we have it set to what's called maximum savings. Cool to dry, in the other location we have, I do use this from time to time, where because of the inside temperature, it doesn't turn on or off, but I, I'll run it so it just cools it enough to reduce the humidity. Uh, sunblock, this one is interesting is that uh, I do have that turned on. Our thermostat is in an area when the sun comes in, it does hit that thermostat and it raises the temperature on it, even with the blinds closed. Uh, and then uh, leaf and airwave. So uh, eco temperatures you could set to what you want them to be and we do that. We have a safety temperature that we wanted to stay above 40. Uh, the units are in Fahrenheit, uh, your Wi-Fi connection and a lock if you need it. So, and it tells you where this particular uh, unit is. So that's this uh, setting, these uh, settings here. And then if you remember, we had a second location. And if you go to the second location, which is much further south, a couple things is, uh, first of all, when we have it set on eco, as you know, as you could see. And so that means I have it set to a low of 62 and a high day of 83. It is 82 inside right now. Outside temperature is high at 86. I have a dehumidifier there now, so you could see that it's at 54%. Uh, it used to be uh, without the dehumidifier is much higher and I'd have to run the, uh, uh, the, the uh, cool uh, to dry uh, setting. And so you can see the mode here, it is on eco, which means I can't really do anything with these particular settings unless I take it off of uh, the eco setting. And see, as you can tell, I can go right here and stop eco if I wanted to, uh, fan, et cetera, et cetera. So again, all the settings in here, you could see that it has not been on at all for quite some time. And the reason is, of course, uh, with the dehumidifier, keeps it just below that eco temperature I had showed you uh, of 83. Uh, so I will probably run that shortly because if the temperature remains high down there, uh, we will have to do something. So this is the uh, Nest app. It's actually really a good app. It's, it's simple to use. Uh, you, you get emails every so often from uh, Nest, uh, which are very nice as far as telling you what your usage was, how you compare to other people, uh, and things like that. So uh, right now, just very pleased with it. Uh, like I said, it works great. Multiple locations uh, you can have on it. And uh, the settings are easy to use, as you can see here. So, uh, I again, I, I think very highly of this. Uh, I like it, and it seems to work really well. Thank you.